it's me Miss Mozzie D. I am back with another video. Um, this time it's a doozy. <laughs> I actually fell for a Facebook ad and I don't know about you guys but sometimes it gets me. It looks so tempting and you're just scrolling and you're like I need to have it. So what I bought is the Il Il Maquillage Foundation After Hours Foundation along with the Il Maquillage Coreless Base Smoothing Primer and the Il Maquillage Eyeliner. So the eyeliner I didn't buy. It came with my order, but I did fall for the try now, pay later option. So you can try these items out for 14 days. If you do not like it, you can send it back for a full refund. So this is going to be a kind of like an experimental how this acts on my face how this performs throughout the day and uh, kind of like a first impressions review. So let's get into this review and see how this face turns out the rest of the day. <laughs> okay, so I tried out the foundation first, tried to get the cap off and I squeezed it onto my hand because that's usually what I do. But it took forever to pump. Um, I don't know what was wrong. I had to double check the cap and keep trying over and over again. And finally, when it came out, it squirted out really fast. <laughs> um, but there it is. And then that's when I realized, oh, I almost forgot the primer. So I got the primer and it still gave me issues trying to open it and get it pumped. I even had to look inside to see if I had any. And when I finally put it on, it felt weird. It felt like I was putting on olive oil. I, and I even smelled it and at first I thought it smelled like olive oil, but I was tripping. <laughs> I even had to wipe it off. Anyway, so I applied it with my beauty blender and I put it all over my face and um, it played really well. Uh, I think I should have used a brush more so that way it could go down to the bottom instead of having to constantly reapply foundation towards the bottom. I even had to um, double check the way that it was covering because it wasn't really covering. I even had to read the back just to see if it was full coverage or not. And the way that it applied was really uh, just medium to full. And here's what it looks like. So yeah, I went ahead and got ready as fast as I could and then realized that I was running late for my movie. I'm back. <laughs> okay, so time lapse cut off because I didn't realize how late I was running and I was gonna go to a movie that my sister bought a ticket for. <laughs> Yeah. I was so late, running so late, so I was like, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to finish the rest of this video. So I cut it short, and now I'm back after maybe a few hours of having this on. And so far, so good. Everything else above my mouth area has, it looks actually really good. I'm getting a little bit oily in my T-zone, obviously, um, a little bit right here and maybe at the top but not so much just a little trace of oil on my nose this foundation i don't know if you can see it here on my finger it rubs off really easily i don't know if there's a way to prevent that then again i haven't had um i didn't have any setting spray i actually just went to go get some now so i didn't set my face after i had every put everything on i did use the il maquillage ink liner in black and this guys is like true matte black eyeliner and that's what i love about it because everything else that i've tried is always shiny and i don't like shiny eyeliner i actually really love matte eyeliner I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup because I didn't get a chance to and I feel naked without my eyelashes. I'm going to actually finish doing this because I feel like I missed a bunch of spots. So I'm just going to retrace all of the missing areas. <laughs> So, as 
I was saying before, the top part looked pretty good, but I did have a mask on. I am still wearing my mask, even if I'm vaccinated. And I wore a mask maybe about halfway through the, the movie when I wasn't eating. And when I got out of the of the theater and I took off my mask and looked in the rear view mirror, it was a mess. <laughs> I noticed that all around here in this area was starting to break off, but it's malleable enough to where I smoothed it over with my finger and it went right back into place and you could hardly see any kind of disturbance there. I don't know if that's good or not. It might not be good because if it slides around underneath your mask, you might want not want to put as much makeup underneath. Um, I did forget that usually that's what I do. I usually take most of my foundation at the top and then slowly bring it down to the bottom so that way the bottom half doesn't have that much foundation because I'm still wearing my mask. So when that happens, I mean, it doesn't make that much of a difference when the mask is rubbing up on it and it doesn't look as disturbed. Usually I always have been putting foundation, very little foundation towards the bottom. I'm just gonna put some more of that leftover powder I have on my brush and just put it all over the bottom, especially around that area that got disturbed. Um, I'll get back to you with some final thoughts and also another check-in. By the way, it had been about three hours since I first put this on. After the readjustment with my fingers, it looked pretty good. So, yeah. Okay, so I wanted to show you up close what the makeup looks like. Again, this is after three hours of wear and I just put some powder retouched and all that. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, make myself some dinner, uh, maybe chill and maybe play some video games, and I'll check in with you later to let you know how the makeup looks. Okay, I think it's about time I do a check-in. I actually am so ready to take this off. It's already gonna be eight o'clock at night, and uh, the last time we talked to I believe it was three, so this is five hours later, and Needless to say, everything at the bottom is gone. Uh, I ate, I was messy, I was like touching my face, and all of the chin part is gone. And then the top part, of course, when I blow my nose, it goes away too. Everything else seems to be okay. The top uh, forehead part is okay. I'm just a little bit shiny, which I can easily fix with powder. And I think I should be okay with this for the rest of the week and hopefully it'll act okay. I'm gonna take it as an extra just in case for Boston and we'll see how that goes. I'm also gonna go ahead and film while I'm there. I'm gonna be going to Boston and Salem for the first time ever with my family. So I'll definitely try to vlog. Just wanted to reiterate from the beginning of the video. I actually got it kind of, I said it wrong. When you order these items, you are initially charged a processing fee or like a fee just to make sure that you have money in your account, just to make sure that you can pay for the product, which is the cost and a little bit more of what, the, what you're buying. So I got both the foundation and the primer and they both came out to about 80 something dollars what together and then they round it up to 100 just with shipping and all that. So it takes three to four business days for it to go back onto your account. Then by the time you're done deciding after the 14 days whether or not you're gonna keep it, then if you do keep it, then you'll be charged the full amount for the, how much the product is worth. If you don't like it, you can send it back and they won't charge you any money. If, if it really doesn't pan out that I'm gonna keep this, then I will return it. I think I might return the primer. I just need to test out some more. I wanna see if it actually makes a difference, especially going to work um, and wearing this foundation throughout the day with that primer. And then I'm gonna try to experiment and use it without the primer to see if I like it better. I didn't really see a difference in my pores when it came to the primer. Um, I could still see a lot of pores here and that was like how it started in the beginning too. So I didn't really see any kind of difference between 
not having that primer and then having the primer. I took down my hair. Um, and then also I did want to say that I love the eyeliner. Um, definitely matte and it stayed on, it stayed put and uh, was really easy to work with. All right guys, so that was my review of the Il Maquillage Foundation Poreless Base Primer and the eyeliner. That was my review and uh, I hope you enjoyed something like this. I haven't done this kind of style of video before where I actually fall for a Facebook ad and then review it. Let me know what else you wanna see down below. By the way, if you haven't, um, in a future video, I'm gonna explain why I have this, but I cut my finger really, really bad and I'll show you how what happened to it. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.